Hello, this is Toe Tag Pictures. Um, we're going to be giving the commentary track for the Disemboweled Behind the Bile documentary about a couple days shooting the movie. I'm Fred Vogel. Say your name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to go down the line with Shelby. This is Christy. I'm Cruz. I'm Shelby. All right. Uh, what are we looking at here, Cruz? We're looking at, uh, this is the gutting body, and uh, I pretty much just put this thing together, put some stab wounds in there, and hollowed it out, coming down to uh, the shot right here. There it is. That's, in, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's the inside, inside of little Betty there. It's a beautiful shot. She bleeds from like, I don't know, 15 spots, maybe 16, something like that. What's it made out of? It's made of latex and polyfoam. That's, that's pretty much it. Oh, and gelatin, yeah. I built the arm out of gelatin and uh, rigged that to bleed. We'll see that later, though. Put her face in there. Yeah, I think this is totally sick looking, dude. You did a fantastic job. Boy, oh, thank you. So this is, um, you can't really see, but this is our shop here in Pittsburgh. Where we, where we, uh, we built this, all, all the, all, Jeremy built all the effects for the movie and actually where we, uh, we filmed the Redson Tower. Those fingernails, I love those fingernails. The hand looks amazing. This is the skin for the test that we're getting ready to see. This, uh, I think this is rigged to bleed from three different spots. But this is just a test piece, so it's not painted, it doesn't, it's not finished at all. So, uh, Shelby's shooting this, right, hon? Yes, I am. Yeah, that's kind of true. What are we doing here, Cruz? We're, we're duct taping this gut back, and we're going to test this uh, gutting effect, just see how duct it works. Duct tape is poor effects right? artist's best friend. Yeah, see, it's the hard fiberglass plate. That's I got foam Fred's brother there. there. So nice. That's my, my baby brother, Stevie. We're just going to duct tape it to him right now. Who is, uh... Can I touch it? In the original August <laughs> Underground, the ass sniffer. <laughs> and uh, him and his girlfriend, Aziza, came up to hang out with us, and... Distract us while we're trying to make a fucking movie, but yeah. it's always it's, it's good to have friends around while we're doing this because it kind of breaks up the stress a little bit. It's nice to have an extra hand on set too. This is just a test. I'm gonna build another one tonight. Sweet. See, I just said that we're gonna I'm gonna build another one tonight. We're already up for like 15 hours or something like that working in the shop building this effect to test. And after we tested it, we had to build the another one. He's gonna have the that next day. Because if it's just like loose like that, what's really cool is coming, you know, coming into the shop and seeing what kind of effects Jeremy's putting together. And I mean, like literally out of nothing. The the effects budget for the movie wasn't a lot. We uh, we probably put about two thousand dollars into into the effects budget. And two thousand dollars doesn't go really far, especially when you're all these materials are kind of costly. <laughs> the specimens. Yeah. All right. Now, you see these but you should always uh, like that, at least test. These are the, the blood tubes, right? Mm -hmm. And this is actually a so, different I mean, thing that I've, I've never actually had time to test effects before. This is the first time so I've ever done a test to make sure it works. Then, you know, try to pull the guts Not out for all the movies. Okay. I'm hook no, no. Well, actually, you know what? You're right. You're right. I did one test for for Redson Tower, and that was it. That's because you're so good. Everything else just kind of... Who needs to, who needs yeah, to test shit? And you know, other test people test build test. more than one prop, of course, too, but I <laughs> never have enough time or money yeah. to build more than just it's the one that we shoot with. You've heard it before. Did you dial down that knife at all? No, it's I should get up sharp. there with you. <laughs> so you're stabbing at your brother with a sharp knife? Save yes, penis. and I've been stabbing at my brother with a sharp knife ever since he was in the crib. Well, it had to be a sharp knife because you had to cut through the skin and the, and the blood tubes inside. So what makes it so that he doesn't get stabbed on the other side? At least got to protect the fiberglass plate that covers over his whole stomach. And a little bit of his chest, depending on wherever you're going to stab. But it, it pretty much covers the whole spot where the skin covers. So wherever it cuts, it should have been good. So I just put this on the side there a little bit. Yeah, the, um, I think the final piece that we used in the movie was, looks, looks totally real. I mean, you punched hair in it, you, the paint job on it was fantastic. But this was, you know, this just helps all of us out, seeing how it's, what's going to happen. But of course, when we get on the set, it's always, it's always madness, and we're going to get to that in a little bit. 
And see, there's no blood in the pack when he's stabbing Remember, it. You stab it. If there was blood in the pack, it'd be well, running out right now. To, there's no blood in the pack. This is where he's cutting through the tube. We're testing it with water because we want to make a mess. There's a big splash. Yeah, there. I remember doing this, dude. I think it's, this was like 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, it was something like that. Mm -hmm. And then we went to set. You know, I think we left, left the shop at like 10, 11. I think it was earlier than that. I don't know, it's fucking delirious. Yeah. So right after we shot this, I started working on building this, the next effect, the next day. And there it is. So was this like seven hours later, boom? So I don't even know how many hours later, but all I know is I didn't sleep. And painted that chest there, and it's got all of its hair. Velcro straps. All right, so my brother, he was the one who brought up these 45 pounds of pig intestines from New Jersey. Or gut. You know, we're not sure which one they were. Really. Yeah, uh, pig intestines, goat intestines, we don't, we're not exactly sure. All I know is they were real and they smelled fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's my buddy Ed right there. He played yeah. uh, the victim of the gutting guy. Ed was the victim who was... Uh, <laughs> We thank like him enough for right putting up with this shit. There she is again. This is finished now, before the blood. Now, what I don't think a lot of people realize is that how cold it was. You know, this is all shot here uh, in Pittsburgh in the winter January. in January. This was January 18th, right? Yes. 2007. No, January 18th was the day before. This is the 19th, the day that we shot it. Get out of there. So now we're the, now we're here. We're, we're actually on set in the in the basement for penance. Working with guts, and it's it's not easy working with with these guts because one, they just are so rancid and disgusting. And what you want to do is you don't want to take them out of the we didn't want to take them out of the out of the bucket because they just smell so bad. So we left them in there until we needed the absolute last minute. Before the Absolutely. We had already used these guts previously for. Was this before? No, no, no. This is first. Yeah. Sorry, I'm first on the wrong day. I thought we were working on Ed here. This is when they first the guts first came in. They were still a little frozen. And here we're applying gel blood to the prop just to make it look that much more real. Let's use something else. Jobla is just an, an extra thick mixture of blood and it's a little bit darker, just makes a makes it look mean, nasty. Like it hurts. Who's that other who's that other body that we're seeing in there helping to put some Joe Oh, oh yeah, that's that's Jason. He uh he came on to help me uh you know pretty much be a second hand. If I needed him to do something, he went and did it. Jesus. Now, I love this right here because this is like the art of, you know, Cruz doing his little ritual of the blood work. Look at that. He gets like into get such involved. a zone with it. Yeah. Well, I, we're all, I think we're all in a zone because we're all just so mad at this moment. Exhausted. Yeah. Time. Delirious. So, Cruz, how's this effect work? Well, he saws it on the arm and it bleeds. A couple spots over here, over here. See, I was in my zone. I can't really get out of the zone when I'm when I'm in it. So I couldn't really explain it that well. This is where everyone will hear our code talking. <laughs> toe tag code. Toe, toe tag code talking. Now, for those of you who don't know toe tag code, you know when you're as tight of a group as we are, you don't really need to. You know, give complete definitions for everything. It's or pretty finish much your just sentences here. at all. Yeah. Or even speak in any kind of like <laughs> No, it's like grunts words. and scratches. Yeah. <laughs> it's like throat magnet. Uh, 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 blood. Uh, all right, over here. But we all fully understand each other. We fully understand each other. If you're going to the tube, we all rigged up your hair by your hair. We're going to be hacking like this. See what? What's she going to be doing? As soon as I start hacking, dude, the prop looks good enough where she can just. Zoom into the throat. She can she can look at the guts. See what I'm saying there is perfect you know because I mean? it, it's true. The, the prop, prop looked phenomenal. You know, I mean? you know, 
with, with Chrissy using the camera, you know, she knew exactly what she needed to shoot to, to, to pull off to pull off the scene and not make you know show the you know if the effect wasn't coming out right, she could uh, show it the proper way. But of course, there was no way the ha the, the sure prop was going to not work. Crazy dog <laughs> If you find the and crazy it worked dog, great. I mean, it was... Oh, it's a beautiful prop. Yeah. But right now, we're just pretty much blocking out the scene before we even put the guts on the table. The, right now, the guts are still in the, bu in, uh, in the bucket. Outside. Outside in the cold. And I think it, I think it was snowing. It did snow. It did snow. This is funny. Yeah, this is all. Squirting at me somewhere. This is yeah. all the test, making sure the blood's up to where it needs to go, right, dude? Right, yeah. Off, yeah. They're off. So I actually built yeah, that that actual prop a few years before, really? and it, I had rigged it to bleed. But for the project I built it for, the didn't you know kind of fell through, so I never got to use it. So I just had to sit around. And then you know I added the arm and everything on it, but I just wanted to make sure it still worked. Yeah. Just, like, and it, it certainly did, yeah. man, because you, you know once you you know when you watch the movie when you watch the movie you can you know, see guts, when I uh, how, when I cut the head off and I put my hand underneath it you can see that blood just yeah, just watch it with your eyes it's flowing. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather you stay from, you know I'd rather you have the guts to look at something fucking foul. She also bled from the nose you know I mean? and I think the mouth, but we didn't use those eye -eye because you know her head was in a bag. Which I think was a great, a great touch, having the bag on there, which is something that was different um, than any of the other August Underground. But, well, in Morton, we do put a bag on the girl's head and smash her in the face with a hammer. There was, there was two girls with bags in their heads. Well, that's right, the rape scene. Yeah. It's a lot more prominent in this one. Yeah. I like the faceless victims. Yeah, well, it has to be Plus, you got to think of what they did while they're putting that bag on their head while they're still alive and watching and them die through the bag. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's that whole suffocation thing is really well, like scary. I, said, I think I'd you know, like to, like, every human being you know has put a bag like, on their head just to put a bag on their head. And, I was forced you know, bags on my head. My cousin used to put them on my head and throw me in the closet. So suffocation is one of my biggest fears. So seeing that in this. You know, you can take it any way when you look at that stuff. You know, you can think that when they put the bags in their head, it's just like they don't want their victims to see them. Exactly. You know, there's just so many ways you can take it. Less mess. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you know, us as, you know, as making the movie, it helps the character, you know, the, the victim in the scene, not seeing what's going to happen. So, you know, when we go in and do the scene, you know, they're more vulnerable. scared, yeah. yeah. Playing with the parts, and then coming over here, you catch me ca cutting the fucking head off. I'm gonna hold up the head. Cutting the fucking head. Right? Off. I'm gonna <laughs> put that in the bag. We swear a lot on, on this set here. You can just drop it the on code. the floor. Yeah, yeah it's, it's part. It's part of the code. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna come over Fuck here. means like 25 different words. It does. And the. <laughs> you know. You know. You follow. In here fuck. Fuck. Or whatever. Fuck. Fuck. <clears throat> so if this isn't if this isn't working right, you know we have we have that to, to look at. As soon as this arm is off, but the arm doesn't come off. Right, that is going to be your cue to go and, and to work on that. Not side. off. You're not sawing this arm off. See, so one of the things top. that you know oh, when we're okay. making one of these movies, and pretty much when we're making anything that's toe tag related, where you stop. the effects um, are always a big part of our films, and that's one of the, you well, know one of the main things that we're you know we're known for. I can. And. Uh, we as actors and directors and producers on this stuff, we you know we have to take account for all the special effects. And you know when Jeremy's doing the special effects, it's pretty much him running the show. You know, um, I think I you know as a director, I trust him in what he's going to do with the effect. And as an actor, you know, I'm I'm going in there not as a director. I'm going there as an actor, and I'm I want to learn what he wants me to do as the actor for the effect. So like when you know when he was just talking about you know I thought I was cutting the fucking arm off you know but I I didn't know that the arm was not supposed to be cut off. Yeah, it was it was rigged to it had two blood tubes in it. You hack at it for a few seconds and then it just bleeds everywhere. And then uh, in the scene it stops because the tourniquet you know 
But sometimes throughout the shoot, I mean, so it's bleeding you get this in some good light. Yeah, the effects, you know, they're, 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 they're usually built to be shot certain ways. But this one, this one was good because, I mean, you could shoot it from any angle all around. And it bled from all these spots. So, I mean, it just looked great from all angles. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Well, That's what I'm saying. you got to remember, the then, you were you hiding behind me, behind that little camouflage. Yeah, yeah. a little camouflage, <laughs> camouflage hunting net. thing. Right, I'm, I'm making a fucking mess. Where's the, i got to get the hose. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you bring out the hose. So, okay. I love this set. Gonna start off, we're going to cut the head I off. I thought, you know, this basement set was made it a lot easier for us like for the filming it. of this movie. I, I know, remember Slip when we did uh, August head. Underground's Mortem, we didn't have here, a set the head a little bit. basement. Why you know, we were kind of like jumping from no, no, after it's off. from location to location so and not having a home. And I thought it was cool for Penance that we had a home at any time and any, you know, night or day if we needed to get a scene off, the, if we can get an actor or whatever, cut, you know, oh, so we can go down and, uh, and shoot something. Well, yeah, and it's already be, dressed, and we didn't have to go in there and right. spend hours and hours dressing so, the set. Yeah, so, you know, was it really night or day? You know what I mean? Shoot, Look at the we floor, had, we had to get the guts. Like just, you know, you watch, <laughs> so we you're going there to watch us. I'm going to open. I think it's weekends we were allowed to shoot though. At night. Yeah, weekends we were allowed to shoot at night. Weekdays, we shot from. Yeah. So I'm just um, gonna open on you. Okay. Anytime from like, open on him and anytime the guys' kids went to school till they came yet, home. Like that was a problem for me it. It. You know, because I had to do all these makeups this is a good effect. I mean, in like this. record yeah. time and get them on set and then shoot the whole scene before we had to leave by four o'clock. It, it it brought a new dynamic to I think us shooting early. You know where like in Mortem and stuff that was all late at night. Ritz and Tower was mostly all late at night, too. Yeah, same, yeah. Ritz and Tower would start at 7 in the p.m. and go to 7 in the a.m. It was just a little crazy because we'd have to just shoot each, we'd have to shoot the scene and just uh, get it in as fast as we could because of the time limitation and, you know, redo it. We only did, we only redid one scene. Yeah. That's pretty insane. And we shot every day. We shot for, uh... I think it was eight days or something like that in uh, the middle of December and we took a break for the holiday and then we came back on the 5th of January and we shot for another eight days in a row. Nine days, I think. Yeah, it was nine days. So this is us walking That's through, yeah, walking through the here. scene. Yeah, and again, there's no guts on the table. We're, we're, we're blocking out this scene before we have to, we have to break out, break out these guts. Now you're cutting about cu talking about cutting the tube. Yeah, yeah. What happened with that in the scene? Well, yeah, what happened in that scene? I forgot. I, I was totally exhausted. I hadn't slept in like two days. Yeah, I'm telling him I'm going to cut the tube here. But in the scene, the scene was going on, and I just, I forgot. I'm back there pumping blood and, you know, for the head, and I'm just sitting there like, what are they doing? Why... Why aren't they moving around where they're supposed to? And Fred's just looking at me, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I totally forgot I needed to cut so the tube. I'll, so, thank God Chris is like, we're, you know, doing the hand, getting the hand. I'm sitting there trying to pull a fucking blood tube from underneath this army jacket. Yeah, yeah. And I even, when Into, I realized just, what was just, going on, I, 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 cut the, I cut the tube in the wrong spot. You know, yeah. so. Because that was so, you know, so the head can bleed. Yeah. You know, that was the whole reason why I was tubed up. If, uh, if, but I mean, you know, it was worth it, and I think you know, you don't even you don't even realize that in the in the in the finished product of the movie. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, I was waiting for it. I had the camera just like pulled away, like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> What's going uh, and, on? And here? it's not it, and it's not like I can <laughs> say <at> anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's all j eye gesture. You know, I, I couldn't even speak toe tag code. <laughs> That's, I think yeah. it's funny, That's too, that um, Cruz says, just don't touch the hand, and the first thing that you went for in the scene is the ring, which I really like that shot a lot in the movie. Oh, I do, too. Like, we talked amazing. about that, you know, we talked about that, taking the ring off there. That's why the ring was on it. They needed a reason to be looking at the hand like that. Oh, God, there they are. The guts. Do you remember the green bile that was just sitting in that bag. Like, I remember when we put... When oh, we, we're dumping on the oh table here? God, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, oh. If you listen right now, you can hear the water running out. That's what we're doing, is releasing the water and, like, leftover bile that's in that plastic bag. You can see it kind of floating down in the bottom oh, under all those like, little folds. And there it 
is blood and bile. Yeah. And there's Steve trying to mask the, the smell of those nasty incense. The waving of the incense. <laughs> We're waving, waving the incense. Now, what we didn't realize is that the heat vents to the basement were open. And this gut smell just went through the vents and all the way upstairs into this guy's house. So we had, like, people upstairs burning incense, smoking cigarettes, anything we can do. So this, so this guy's house didn't reek like, <laughs> like farm. Yeah, he's a hunter, though. Like, he knows the scent. There's that little camouflage backdrop that I hid behind throughout the whole shoot. <laughs> His mask cracked me up. That was overkill. Yeah, you know yeah, we're sitting we're sitting there breathing that in, and he's not even touching this stuff with a fucking mask on. I'm the only one that didn't touch the guts, but that's because I was filming and using all of the. Yeah, you had like equipment. three cameras around your neck. Yeah, I was no. the insane documentarian. Touching these guts, man, like they just slide in your hand and your fingers. They're like, you know, I. It's like a it's handfuls of jello all connected in this big textured cold um, thing. Yeah, do you remember those things from the 80s? That those little squiggles little where you'd squeeze them, like, them and they jump out of your hand? Yeah. Aww. It's like 50 of those <laughs> yeah. all connected. It's slimy. Big, I mean, like, flesh sacks. Yeah. It, it's, it's surreal. You know what I mean? You're actually playing with intestines. He's used to it. Yeah, I decided to actually dive into them. Yeah. Yeah. I'd you had to. Touch the you had to. Some point. You know what I mean? It was just like... It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> once you get past the initial smell, and I think once we hosed them down, before we put the blood on, that kind of helped with the smell. They didn't smell that That's bad. They weren't nearly as bad as the red centaur guts. No, they weren't. I think they keep the lower at the top. No, you'd leave that stuff at the top because that would like be... Yeah. I think that they were frozen guts for like this farm. one, too, partially, so I think that that helps with... This is where we're, we're, we're trying to figure out which side of the intestines goes in the actual belly cavity. So that's why I'm saying let's let me cut this. Let me cut and some of this see, off. Yeah, there's way too much guts on the table because we didn't know that's actually two sets right there, and we thought there was only one, so we just popped them all on the table. And that's after we trimmed it. I'm gonna come around. The prettiest greens. They're quite beautiful. They're really pretty. To look at the colors are amazing. When I cut those guts. Watching that, that is, brown that really green look, <laughs> schmuck. That's the face of now that, that looks like the <laughs> Superman sherbet ice cream. You ever eat that when you were a kid? <laughs> I used to love that stuff. That's what it reminds me of. It's, it's pretty. Last touches of blood. I'm a, I'm a super perfectionist when it comes to blood splattered, and it, it just it don't has to look this they don't certain smell way. As bad as the red it either. takes me a while sometimes, but it's. And those ones weren't formaldehyde. You'd think that they'd smell I like to get less. in it with my hands, and you can just get such a, a natural spray with it. And I love those colors. Yeah, they're freaking just pretty. looks the best. Yeah, and you don't stop, dude. You're you're always there <laughs> with yeah. that with that blood bottle. <laughs> when it needs Re it, it needs it. Ready to ready to gore up the scene. Yeah. Glad it worked out that we could do both gut scenes in the same day. Yeah, I think you know Shelby hit the nail right on the head there. It, this is, oh, there he is it, over this there. was it was smart filmmaking Hi. to shoot this stuff, you know, all in the same day. Because one, you don't you don't want to be working around these guts a lot. Yeah, know, yeah. Because they are toxic. Especially you know? after like cutting them and opening them up yeah. and having bile spilled out. That's what happened. Yeah, because you know it's just as Logan would say, parasite, parasite, parasite. Yeah. <laughs> But we did have to come back at the day after this and shoot again with them. I see, this is everybody thinking I was it putting too much blood on there. It the Reds and Tower guts. It actually wasn't smelling at all. But I disagree. Just a little, like, roadkill. Mm -hmm. it, it went beautifully. Yeah, no, the colors are pretty. The colors... So this is after the scene I here. I say that my favorite color is the color of guts. Do you think they should make a crayon? Beautiful. The whole scene. Gut? <laughs> It'd be a multicolor crayon. It would, that would be in my art kit. It'd be like one of those pens that you push the things down. It's got the, the like, four use? different colors in it. <laughs> now this is the gut bag. This is how we so pull off the that. gutting effect. Pick up that whole fucking now, what's that? What's that made out of? Dude? Well, it's <laughs> it's 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 made out of. I have a fiberglass chest piece 
that didn't really fit the actor because I made that off of another casting of someone else that I had, but it's made out of fiberglass and a plastic bag. So this is what was Inducted. tested before on Stevie, correct? Yeah, 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 this is but this is the first day. This is because we shot this in two separate days. This is the first day. And we just had some technical problems, things didn't work out right and it, I just this the shot was good. It just wasn't what I originally like I wanted to see. I wanted to see more. I wanted to see like some some really awesome on-screen gore. We just didn't get it right. Got it. Yeah. We were trying to pull those guts out, and Jason did not want to touch them at all. Yeah, I know. Like, uh, you needed yes. you needed four hands to pull them out because yeah. they're so slimy and slippery and heavy. And they're heavy. They just slip right out of your hand. You don't want the stomachs to bust or anything. <laughs> and he, yeah, he was just like he had his hands in there. He, he didn't want to pick them up That's at all. Weak. That's the thing, though. Is like <laughs> yeah, he was terrified. Well, you know, yeah, we've used guts before, yeah. Yeah. and this was his first film. All this was his first movie. The organs are in there too, aren't they? And uh, you know, he he never worked with stuff like that before. So. I mean, it's kind of, it's tough to do, you know. It plus, is tough to plus, do. you know, Most like, we're toe tag, you know, like, nothing can, up. yeah, we, 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 those veins oh my god, great. Yeah, that thing was amazing looking, man, yeah. it was like, <laughs> it looks like it, it looks like we and there's a little sets. egg yeah, off, yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's when we realized that we have to, we're like, wait a minute, <laughs> I see, I'm saying, I'm saying we gotta cut this off, because there's way too much guts in that bag, and that was one of the problems with the effect, is even after we cut this off, there was still too much guts in the bag. It does. Hey, watch your fingers. And the consistency, of, you know, with the, because the guts, you know, there's, it's almost like there's sacks. And they're so, all connected. And it's like all connected. Multiple, multiple different spots. Oh, it's even. Oh, so we, we, I think we overestimated how much guts we needed to put in the bag. Yeah. We need to pinch this at some point. What? But I'll, I'll, I stick to my, I stick to saying that, you know, I, th I think the guts, the gut scene in Penance came out beautifully. I think I think the way it was edited and everything, yeah, it did. It came out. I mean, it's if it's I beautiful. Go, it's gotta keep leaking. How about turning that hose off? Yeah, dude. Quickly. Quickly. Spreading bile everywhere. Get a piece of string or rope. I'm wearing shoes from Mortem that have uh, that are so old right, and just have no bag. bottoms just, to them yeah, at all except go. sharp yeah, little yeah. metal pieces. Oh. So all that icy, icy cold Because it's going to come out, all that shit's going to pop open whenever it's fucking stabbed. <laughs> and it's going to reek. All right, listen. <laughs> I need oh, the duct tape person. We're, we're, we're trying to duct tape the open sack shut. You're just holding <laughs> the guts. <laughs> anything we, anything <laughs> we could do to stop the bile from coming out. Yeah. What's funny is this is like a few minutes later, and Christy, she's still holding on to those guts <laughs> so they didn't spill everywhere. I think the suck about these is that it's bit cold. See there, she's holding right there. <laughs> it's delirium. It's like, it's, yeah, it's like your new purse, you know, here it is. You should have gotten some drinks. I know. And her favorite color, gut. Right, you're going to have to get little pieces of banana. What's that? You're going to have to get smaller pieces. Now you can't just put one piece over this. You can I put one piece of start? Try it. I'm sitting there with a big pile of guts right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After a while, it's just like it's it's nothing. It's just another yeah. another piece of the set. It's the in, it's the initial pulling them out of the bag, <laughs> which made us all sick. But once that once the, once they were out, you know, we got used to it. Put it back in the bucket. Yeah, she's still holding on to them. There they go. Back I, th I think bucket. she wanted to hold on. Though. Yeah. I don't think she wanted to. I didn't bucket. want that vial to spill out. That was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we going to do with it? Just spread there, it all over the floor with the water hose? Well, thank God we had, thank God we had the drain. Remember, oh, <laughs> at the yeah. end of this, we're like dumping like gallons of bleach on the on the floor. Cause it was the, this basement looked like a crime scene. I mean, it was... A hardcore crime yeah. scene. I mean, it's it still looks like that. Yeah. I mean, after after the whole movie, and just blood's everywhere. The, um, John, who owns the house, his aunt actually came down to do laundry. And there was some dried blood and a knife on the floor, and she refused to go in there. And she thinks that his basement's haunted now, and that there's really dead people down there, and she won't go in his house. That's, <laughs> That's because there is really dead people down there. That was really fun putting that set together, like, um, you know, with the chairs and all the porn. All the porn. I ripped up a bunch of old cloth and, like, tied up to the. the Handle things on the chair to look like have been tied just up there. Cut a hole in it. All that will be seen in the box set. This the is shirt. definitely the right, best documented August Underground movie. Yeah, this is what you know. With a lot of you people want to see. 
and what we couldn't do in the past because it was, you know, no no crew, nobody there to yeah. actually take the pictures or record the behind the scenes stuff because we were all super busy. Even though so sporadic. Yeah. yeah, this was definitely more planned out. You know, we had we knew our weeks of shooting. We knew kind of what was going on. It was still a lot more sporadic than like a Redstone Tower shoot where everything's yeah, completely planned, planned out. out. You know, but now you can see there we're talking about how big it is. That gut bag is just way too big. It's very bulbous. But the perspective of where the camera was going to be was we were never going to see that. Yeah, this 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 effect was designed to do in tight shots. Yeah. It's all it's all movie magic. Low budget movie magic. You're going to be on top of them, like ripping it open, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe I could like help. And since it's August Underground, you know, there's not cuts in it. Yeah, we try to so. do everything without a cut. That's like the goal. Well, yeah, when you when you do the special effects, I, I try to design these things to where right. you, you can do it in one cut because when you when you cut, I mean, these movies are designed to look realistic and they're designed to, to make it feel a certain way. And if you throw a cut you, just to pull an effect off, then you, it takes you out of that place. It makes you look like that, that it's a fake. And, it, you know, it's, it's, it's that you're not really killing that person. Cotton that you have shown. You, know, you do it in there. one take and you just go in there, you're actually seeing that knife cut into flesh, ripping it open, blood coming out, and then guts, all in no camera cuts. I think that's, you know, that's the key point right there that puts people in that thing like, wow. Yeah. Did they really kill that guy? I mean, how do they do this? It definitely helps you to forget that you're watching a movie. And I also think it just, it makes us have to be more creative. Yeah. You know. Uh, there's the flesh piece again. Uh, so and I good. think, you know, a lot of people understand that. A lot of people are like, hey, I can make that kind of movie. You know, and it's like, you have no idea what it takes t to pull something like this off. And granted, we're speaking code, and, you know, you might not know what's going on. You know. Coffee the yeah, pulling, you know, making pulling this off and making something like this work yeah. is not as easy as you think. Especially, you know, we have had no money yeah. to do this. You know, I built this whole thing in one night. Burning. And you can obviously you see the crew here. This is a big effect. Now, if this was like a a big movie, there would be forty five people on set. You know, getting you everything that you need. You know, this is all of toe tag. Uh, uh, Jason helping out with 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 uh, some of the special effects stuff, and then you know my brother and Aziza are just hanging back watching, and Ed waiting to to get put into the scene. Are they in his pants? No. And this was a lot of people on a set for. That was for the, the most day. we had. Though. That was the most we that had. Day. Yeah. <laughs> Normally it's four of us and victim. And you'll see in the next day shoot is that's exactly what it was. It was the four of us and the victim. Up there. You're doing really good at not showing that you're cold at all, though. That was an icy, tell you. wet floor. Basement cement floor. All right. Covered in bile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And ice cold water. You saw we were washing the floor off, and that hose is just ice cold water. Ice cold water. We had one little heater going in here, but uh, that didn't you know, help for shit. Yeah, it didn't help. And of course, when oh, when we shoot. You know, we got to turn it off and get it out of the scene so it's not a part of the part of the set. I don't even know if we had it this day. I think it was MIA. No, no, no. we had it. Yeah, it was it was over in the ice box room. Is where is where it was. Because I know we had it the second day. We put it right down on the floor for him. Yeah. yeah, there in the movie you don't really see it very much, but there's this back room, which we call the ice box room because I mean this room was so cold, and this was like my changing room, so. I'm wearing uh, an apron and a pair of tidy whiteies, and I mean, it is fucking freezing in there. <laughs> this is after the scene's over. Just cleaning up all the... Cleaning it off. Anything that hit the guts, we, we threw away. Yeah. Except for the fiberglass Back plate. yourself with that blanket, dude. Because uh, we had to reshoot it. You know, we right now we have our car running with heat on it, yeah. so we can... Get people warmed up as soon as we just get out of here. And there's Stevie with the with Incense. those damn <laughs> this thing stunk so bad. Yeah, you couldn't breathe. Now, when we were doing this scene, so how was I was supposed to throw up, and I, I wanted to puke in that white mask that I had. When I heard him, I was but like, oh. I ate this cheeseburger, and I guess I didn't chew it good enough, so it just flew out of my mouth, and it actually made me rupture a hernia. 
And I was I was out, man. It, that sucks. Well, first things first is getting but, the guts in the bag. I need the shank. Now this is the second day, and like I said day. before, um, you know, I, did, I just wasn't happy with, with the footage that, that was shot. I, I didn't like, you know, just how the effect came out. And, uh, you know, at that point I was exhausted, but I didn't care, because it, it, the effect needed to look great. So I went ahead and stayed up all night again and built this entire effect again. And uh, shot this the very next day. You know, I made a new skin piece, a new gut bag, the whole shebang. Now again, it's it's no, they just got early, you know sweaty. this is late morning, going into you know afternoon here. Yeah, this is like around one o'clock because Ed got off work at noon, and I had to go pick him up. Or did you I pick, I him, pick up? him up? I picked him up. Both of these days, right after the shoot, I had to go and work all night at a, uh, <laughs> a bar oh. restaurant. <laughs> I'm sure people don't want to know that. Dude, it's it's already been especially been after they see this <laughs> yeah. next part here. Pull it <laughs> the out. parasites. Uh, <laughs> hey, oh, how nice. many? What would you like to drink? Can, Let me make the salad for you. <laughs> Let me just mm. stick my hands all over your food. Now this day, those guts were outside all night. I mean, in the they snow. They were ice cold. That's what we had in so there. cold. My hands are freezing. freezing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's going to be weird. <laughs> Right yeah. <laughs> it was much warmer in the set that day because we had the heater and the floor was dry. We gave him the flannel. Gave him beer. Well, beer. Let's just use the yeah. 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 I mean, When you have a nickname like Drunk Ed, you know. You, yeah. You got, you got a, if you're not holding a beer, man, you ain't no Drunk Ed. Me, me and Ed, he, he was my drinking buddy for a long time. But yeah. Right after college is when I met him. This is what am I doing? Here? I don't know, man. All I know is My hands were so cold. I mean, it was like. Cut open a big sack. Like, cut open a stringy piece. Oh, this, this is all one piece. Yeah, it's all one sack. She was telling me to cut a stringy piece, but there, there wasn't one. Order? <laughs> and there is no order <laughs> to them. Got, <laughs> they just. It's it a looks big like sacks. there would be, but yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it one? does look like it, but it just goes on into these sacks and just. Yeah, because. No, it, right isn't like the small intestine like it's, five it's miles long or something like that? Well, that's but what they say about stretch humans. Stretch it out. Yeah. And that it would be like one piece. It just looked like, I don't know. Human anatomy and animal anatomy are different because our, our bodies are set up to to eat different things so they digest them differently. Yeah, but I'm, Somebody I, just told me that. You told me that just recently. But you know, a small intestine still oh, is, is long. And <laughs> if you're cutting it in half, you know you're gonna get you're, you're getting shit from both ends, and I mean it just oh, it was everywhere. I see this. Is yeah, funny. you can see the poo poos out. The schmuck. That is poop. <laughs> that is poop. That's no, I did, yeah, that's that's what becomes poop. I think <laughs> that knife right there is actually the knife that's used throughout the movie when someone is killed with the knife. It's that knife there, and uh, my dad gave me that knife, and I, I love that knife. It's a beautiful knife. Look at uh, that green nastiness yeah. just Oozing coming out. out. We have another deal. bucket we can put I hope everybody's watching this commentary and uh, eating uh, lunch. Yeah. Which is the good keeper? There's still some strings attached. <laughs> eating there. Superman, Sherbert. See, this is funny because I go to cut it. And then, like, it's <laughs> a bile <laughs> flowing out of the bread. You son of a bitch, dude. You could have just cut it nice and soft. Like, jeez, dude, you fucking no, hacked at it. No, I, well, it's not and cut it nice and sprung on my face, dude. I had to put some pressure on it because it was just running and so But I had it dude, tight. No, you didn't. If you had it tight, it wouldn't have sprung out. No, right. no, that was you being like, ooh, guts, and you fucking hacked no, at it. It, it was in my hands. Like, it was bile freezing in my, my face. hands, man. It was freezing my hands. <laughs> my hands were freezing, too. And it didn't hit your face. It only hit your arm. I no, saw dude, it. No, dude. I, I, I swear it almost hit my lip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Almost hit his lip. <laughs> I needed a beer after that. Yeah, see, so you're drinking beers. Oh man, I had a beer, but it felt. Oh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you kept tasting the guts. <laughs> just, <laughs> the guts. I don't know. Because you kept smelling the guts after it. playing with this stuff for two days. I mean, oh, it was in yeah, your was sinus nice cavity. Cat. I mean, it was. Just, you were smelling it. Right, Could Chris, not drink um, it. Are you happy with that? Is that enough guts? Can I close this sucker up? Yeah. You want to put blood in there? Yeah. We're gonna put blood in it. But and I even <laughs> say, I was like, I think it should. Could I even use more guts, but I put fake veins yeah, in them instead, but still, I think it, I still I think it had just a little bit too much in there. 
Well, one, Ed is a big guy. Ed it's is like, a big Ed's guy. It's six three, six four, something yeah. like that. You know, and he's he's not wafer thin. Look at that knife. So, uh, no matter how little guts we put onto this gut bag, it's st he'd still look like a pregnant a man. Yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. a lot of blood. So that bio kind of, it looks yeah. like split All right. pee. It does. All right, take your gloves off, Bruce. Exactly. Well, I need to. If anyone ever needs to make bio, you know, that's the way to go. Shut. Yeah. There's the heater. Only yeah. one thing fucking working on it. Yeah, the other side broke. Still better than nothing. Yeah. yeah. It worked. That heater puts out some heat, man. I think on this day we made sure we shut the vent so his house didn't smell like farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we filled the blood the, the bag with blood this time because in the last shoot, what you can even hear what we were talking about is Fred asked me if I should put blood in the bag and I said I had five tubes pumping blood through it. But it's still when you do the initial stabbing, you know, you need something to come out. And when you do the initial stabbing, sometimes you don't actually hit the blood tube that's built in inside. And you have to cut a little bit. So in the other scene, that was one of the reasons I wanted to reshoot it because there wasn't enough blood coming through. So this time we put a, almost a gallon of blood in the bag to make sure as soon as you get that first stab in there and you push down on the bag, blood comes out of the wound. I thought enough blood came out. That's just me, you know, that's me, but... Well, enough blood did come out, like, a second or two after you started cutting and after you went through the actual tube, but there was, you know, a good two or three seconds where you were just cutting and it was just looking real bad. Yeah, it's the wonderful world of editing. The wonderful world of editing, yes. But see, again, throwing edits in scenes like this, when I, you know, want to design these things, and in my head I see them, and there's no cuts, and it looks, you know, ultra-realistic. When you throw cuts in there, even though sometimes you need a cut in there just for time or pacing, it still kind of throws off the realism for the effect for me. But I'm just a perfectionist and things like that, so. But that, I mean, that's a, that's a good point. You know, the uh, another one. Even even with these movies and what you know, one. Some, this is probably something you know we're going to talk about in the, the toe tag commentary as well. But the um, keeping the pacing of the movie, even though these scenes were a lot longer than scenes, you know, for, in Mortem, for instance. Uh, these longer scenes do need to be cut sometimes just to keep today. that pacing, keep that story wow. moving. Even though people say, you know, these movies don't have any fucking story or whatever. Well, they can't really say that about this one because there's lots of story in this one. I think there is. Anyway. Oh, I do too. I think there's story in all the movies. I know there is, so. It's just not the blatantly hair? right in yeah. your it's face. Yeah. Smuck? Yeah. What's smuck? Smuck is the nasty shit that comes out of the intestine. Smuck. Green shit. It's the green shit. The smoke. smoke. Is that their own name? It's a Jewish word. But I'm oh. Right now, because I'm not even Jewish. Yeah, but you're from Jersey. Yeah. Now, for people who, you know, there's <laughs> <laughs> just high Jewish population in Jersey. I grew up, you know, we had every Jewish holiday off in my high school and not Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> <laughs> being from to Pittsburgh, it's reversed. Yeah, and, and, and being in Pittsburgh, it's reversed. Oh, is that the stuff that was in that bag? Right, we got and the skin on there now. And that did look like a big giant squib. It did. It, 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 it mm -hmm. was. That's exactly what it was, though. It was a big giant squib. It just didn't explode out. It cut through it. We Velcroed the, uh, the chest piece on over the gut bag and then uh, so duct taped the tubes underneath him. And he was laying on them, and they went all the way down easier. and okay. out the back of his legs. That's right. <laughs> now, Ed was a trooper, man. Yeah. And, and, you know, one of the things that I think makes this movie even more special, besides being the last one and, and all that, all the friends and fans that we had involved in it. And giving them the, that experience, you know, of being a victim in one of these movies. And he was definitely a trooper because he came in two days in a row to get covered in guts blood. and bile. Yeah, who the fuck in their right mind would do that? And this was after, you know, he has to get up and go to work at like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, something like that. So he'd already put a full day of work in and then came to set to help us out. But he, he was actually in the one of the very first toe tag projects that we shot together way back in the day in what, 2003. Yeah, 2002 maybe, yeah. And ever since then, he's been wanting to be. He wants. He wanted to do something else with us. Why? 
because he actually because fell he through with it. I mean, he actually is, came through. <laughs> yeah. He came to do it. We get a lot of volunteers yeah. that don't actually follow through with it. Yeah. Wanting to do I think it's just exciting to to do and something. Like whenever this, you're getting ready to shoot, exactly. right down to it, it's it's really hard the white shirt too. And this was, or you know, we didn't we didn't have any budget, so this was, you know, them being cold and you know just the 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 pain throughout the day. It was needed for it was definitely needed for these movies, but oh. You know, yeah, usually they're they're in very cold and they're very their bodies well, we are in very uncomfortable yeah. positions. It's 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 like it's a double edged sword, you know. Yes, it's hell in the condition and you know the scene, but we try to make it as smooth as possible, and as it's safe an amazing as possible. experience. And it's like because yeah. I was a victim, yeah. what how many times in Mortem? Yeah, you know, yeah. and every time it was a great experience. Yes, it was cold. Yes, it was uncomfortable, but more what we done. It, I was always happy as hell to have yeah, that experience. Like very subtle drops. I mean, every little drop makes a difference, and one drop out of place just blows the whole thing. Well, you'll be looking. You can Maybe when Tote when Tote makes millions of dollars, we have like blood towers that just spray blood everywhere. <laughs> All but your like cast of your hand. These <laughs> 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 little hands, limp wrists flying around, <laughs> spraying blood. <laughs> Telling us that it's the best way to get blood on there, anything. But I could just take it from you, sit it, and go back, and you're still like. All right. Well then. So all right. Let's let's get that. See, it's hard. I mean, you look at Ed's face. He's got lots of blood on there. It's hard doing makeups, like beat up makeups, on people with beards. Yeah. Because it's covering half their face. I mean, here you can see it looks pretty good. But no, you, I, th I, th I thought the makeup on his face was great. Uh, you, it, it was it was so subtle, and like it was a fresh because normally. Seems you're hidden, man. Well, you, you know what on the side of him, dude? So I have a little. Hold it just just to make you know what I mean. It just makes it easier for you to rip. If you want to rip it or you want to cut yeah, it. I'm gonna rip it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Start that little. Start that yeah, little. it's got to be controlled. You can't just rip it open. It's got to be on just that one area. What, what are you saying to do? Just put a little hole is what I'm asking. You want a little nibble in there? Is that what you want? Well, I, he, I for the scene, for he did, he just cut the shirt in the scene and ripped it open. Okay. So, I mean, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. I mean, would it, be easy, would, are you, would it be easier for you to be already open? Well, I could take the knife and cut it. Like I said, it's got to be controlled. Like, if you, if you lift up the shirt and you're cutting the knife, you see the seam, it's going to blow the effect. So what, the one that, why don't it already be open? I'll get it. Okay. It'll be fine. I'll, I'm, I'm watching you too, so it's all good. All right. All right. So look, I'm just going to be back here. I want to be able to see the effect happen so I can... Yeah, don't worry. Do you want me just to like have, am I allowed to, where can I cut open? Just where you're going to be cutting the stomach just open. Just right, right there. there. You know, yeah, you don't want to go up too far. I mean, just right you can here. this whole section here. You can you can see. I can cut. Okay, you that's can see, what I need see, to see. Like these are the chest, but this, you know. Just this light. Yeah, this, okay. just this section. Gotcha. Well, that'd be no problem. Oh, my fucking... 
you would have picked that camera up a lot fucking sooner or looked at me to say you could have. There were some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shots that I was looking at over here. Well, hopefully we got it. <laughs> because she didn't have any fucking gloves on, dude, at all. I'm just like, Oops. all right, yeah. And oh. when, when, she, when, when she ripped this open, dude, I saw all this. So I was like, you know, I made sure I came up about that way. Let's get the hose on. You're definitely a lot bloodier than you were yesterday. Definitely. All right, let's, Sorry. first things first, let's get him Just off on, yeah. Oh, there's a spot on the Okay. He's what? Well, I don't like that green shit. Oh, on your coat. <laughs> uh, it's all over the top of it. <laughs> It's gonna right, stink right. even worse oh, now. Is, I, I wanted to keep that, damn it. This is the garbage bag that it gets in it, huh? Yeah. All right. We're gonna just get with that in here. Yeah. Okay. With all the tubing, too. Oh, this. Shirt in there, it just dripped into that blood. Fuck it, just throw it away. Yep. It's been on the set. I need them scissors to yes. cut them out of these clothes. <laughs> How is that for you, Ed? That was superb. <laughs> don't move everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cut you. Okay. Okay. This is good. Oh, that turn on the hose? Yeah. I'll take that. Just want to wash my face off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like... What were you doing? Sawing them. I was holding on to the guts with the knife and like holding them to his stomach so it like pull and I'm like... Give me, the, give me the wrist of that where you got the guts on there. Put them, get them wet. Fuck my jacket, because I gotta wear that again. Why don't you take the jacket off? Let's just wash this thing. Watch out. Take it to a laundry. Take it to a laundry mat or something. 
for real. Yeah, you can take it off while this is happening instead of getting all. <laughs> Wedded with the zoo. That's coming out. 